Welcome back to Let's Play Digimon World Next Order. You know, at the end of the previous part, I did say I might do a bit of off screen training. As you can probably tell by the way I'm going with this, I did not do that. Digimon World Next Order! I could have done that while editing, but I was just like, uh, I was thinking of doing that before recording here, as I was editing for Project Zero uh, about an hour or so ago, but I was like, I can't be honest. Speaking of which, oh, I was dreading, I knew the last drop chapter in that game is it's gonna be long, but I was not ready. I was not ready. <laughs> Four parts in one record session, right? And based on the fact that, okay, this is how it goes, right? We got three things: Yuri, Ren, and me. I assume you get to play as all three of them in the final chapter. I took four whole parts to get through Yuri's part, but I assume that's probably not going to be last time to play as her in that drop, because that's basically if I hadn't of. Search the whole mountain, which you can, find items and ghosts and all this extra stuff, which took cooks to three and a half hours, when all you really had to do is walk from point A to point B, cut Sinham's switch to the next guy. But I spent four whole parts looking all over the damn mountain for items. By the end, I was so done with the game. That's just like, uh, if I don't get like the top ranking at the end of that, I'm annoyed. Because I ain't reckon doing a collectathon again in that level. That level sucks for that. Give you too much free room to explore everywhere, so you know there's gonna be items random scattered about. Point is, I was heading for that, and I could have been playing this while I was in, but I was just like, I can't be honest. Just busy, 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 busy. I, I feel burnt out, honestly. I feel like I need to take a break from uh, recording or something, you know? Especially because all the recordings tend to come... I mean, that, the thing is, right, you know, because I've got four parts of that, right? It's got the opposite effect now, because if I record two parts for any Let's Play, it would be eight days later when the next record session will come out. And the trouble is, my let's plays kind of like tend to sync up a bit, so it ends up being like day after day after day after of record sessions. But with Project Zero, since I've done four, right, that double, it'd be half a month before I get back to our let's play. I'm gonna be completely clueless. Oh, it's gonna suck. Oh. I'm also trying to get my sleeping pattern back around, it's been an absolute mess. I almost did uh, yesterday, but as I was adding with Project Zero, I just was too exhausted. And it was the same day that I recorded it as well, so I was just, I was like, fuck this. And I went to bed early, woke up at 5 in the morning, uploaded the previous parts of this Let's Play, and now we're here at about nearly half a spray in the afternoon. And I already feel like, uh, it's like, no, 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 man. We've got to stay up at least till like 10, 11 p.m. so that my upload schedule can go back to normal. It's like, damn it. Speaking of which, part 129, I have no idea why, but that part of this Let's Play has over 100 views. The algorithm, I just do not understand. Sometimes my videos just randomly get a lot of views. Anyways, uh, instead of, you know, going to the Malevolent Fist side quest because you need training and like I said, I could have done that off screen, but I didn't. So here we are. I'm going to do some on screen training of sorts. Let's check out the dimensions that were recently uh, uh, One other reason. Oh god, no. It's the Impaled on one. We got no chance. <laughs> But, uh, you know, one thing I, uh, 
decided to on screen go for it so we can actually use it because you know if we run into Digimon that we have to talk to before you know. So we got a Grand Quagman, Mega Gap, Tiaraman, Blue Man, the Cool Alarm. And they're pretty shit. I mean, if you saw this giant machine drum on, I mean, you wouldn't want to pick a fight with that, would you? It'd be completely insane. Yes! Yeah! Whew, so it begins, I guess. I'm not really prepared, because I haven't stopped if I am running. So unless we can brute force our way through this, we don't really stand a chance. I mean, my main reason for coming here is to get money so I can actually buy set items. You enjoyed yourself, Ruchi. Let me have some fun too by kicking your ass. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, we don't stand a chance. We're doomed! This is precisely... Okay, we did a decent amount of But this is precisely why I feel like these mod are not nearly ready for the Mallet Fist. They can't handle the dimensions. They've got no chance against the Mallet Fist. Mallet Fist is just ridiculously overpowered. <sighs> なんで嘘だろ。目を覚ましてくれよ。We're a dick eating with my Digimon. Not that that's surprising in any way. What am I gonna do about training? I can't really use the dimensions because I'm not really stuck on supplies. I need to make money. Oh, yeah, that's the other idea I had. Of course. How foolish of me to overlook this idea. It's time to cash in on our stocks. Ah, if it had been yesterday, we would have got even more. Oh, well. Sell these ones. Yeah. You gotta be hungry any second now. Yes, that will. <laughs> Sometimes they don't have the, uh, you know, uh, gym eating habit schedule. One of them likes vegetables. Oh, wait, no, that was the previous, uh, Evolution. They like nuts. Great. The one that likes fruit is not getting any fruit. Lame. Well, despite all of you know the things I've said about them not being prepared, I am in fact actually going to possibly head the bone resource. You know, one good way to test how tough they are is fighting the Maudismon, Venom Maudismon, and Piedmon along the way. Let's buy 40 of those. What did he get? Yeah, okay. Five. Unfortunately, my Digimon's HP is very low right now, so... It's a bit shit. So if we just head the Bony Resort regular way... Well, there's only one way we can head into that at the moment anyway. Because of that bastard taking up residence. We cannot go anywhere but the entrance. 
Unfortunately, I couldn't find a uh, map online for this, but I did make notes for the portals. Hopefully the notes will make sense when I get to uh, each part each section. However, even if I do manage to get to the Mellow River Fist, I don't think I'm going to actually end up having to fight him. I think we still need to get much better prepared for it. We would just get absolutely destroyed. This is more of just a test to see if my Digimon can hang with the locals. And maybe make a profit as well. Do relax for a while before you go further. <laughs> that wasn't quite how I had it planned. Okay, they can definitely hang with these. Yeah, eat shit mode is not. You know, and build them on that for sure. And you give us wisdom. And a lot of money. It's good, you know? Could, you know, deliberately take the wrong portal, yes. leave the area, and come back and respawn. Like, you know, if he's got a. The, the Malibu Fist has screwed over my usual training ground, so I might as well make do with, you know, using his minions to my advantage by using them to uh, yep. train my Digimon a little and also get a lot of money. Now, <laughs> ah, here's where the real test comes in because five months, mega level. Ha 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 ha! So go have a great time! Yeah! Oh boy, that hurts. That, that really hurts. That's not a good sign. The protagonist being absolutely worthless at throwing items. Come on! Oh shit! God, do you have a type disadvantage or what? You need to organize. That inventory is just... You know, not good. I want to have the recovery disc as easily accessible as possible. Well, not so great so far. And I want worse is the fact that somewhere along the line we're gonna have to fight two pikes at the same time. My Digimon are clearly not ready. Kills to grab the eight and battle the aggregate. Oh yeah. <laughs> that bitch slapped from the cinder, man. I don't know, I added all the damage, but if that was all the damage in there, then no one would attack you better than the finisher, man. Well, it was a life waste in. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, oh, lovely. This could be a good training ground. Kind of wasteful, though, at the same time.
When life gives you lemons, take a teleport. Alright. Let me just <coughs> have a look at the notes I wrote down. Cause I didn't find a map, but I did find a walkthrough. And basically via descriptions of each teleporter. So it's near a red sign, so... Yes, up there. Maybe, I don't know. Look here first. Try not to see. Might be this way. anything, this part could potentially be used as a reference point in the future for which uh, paths to take. I mean, I've already taken the right path before for most of these, just the last one or two that I get screwed over with. So yes, are you enjoying Yourselves? No, not at all. I'm a mechanic. I just want to just get wrecked. I did look seem to be doing a bit better this time. Uh, weird. Oh, no mind. Spoke too soon. I really wish you'd throw better than that. That's the protagonist. You're very crap at throwing stuff. I don't need no sticky finisher. I know about taxi better. Oh god, that hurts. Oh my god, for fuck's sake. The protagonist has the slowest goddamn pro in the world. He just sucks. What was that? It was a bit of freaking delay. I couldn't break the items. Oh my! Protagonist, I want to kick you in the virtual balls. Fuck's sake, this guy, he can't throw items. What shit? This may be my most powerful Digimon, but their lifespan is gonna be fucking shit at this rate. I fucking hate this guy so much. I much prefer Mamio. You know, the tag's first game. At least he could fucking throw recovery discs and like you, you fucking useless piece of trash. With your stupid generic fucking spiky hair and stupid hair dye job shit. Fucking worthless scum of the air. Ugh. You just can't win with this game. If Piedmon is giving them this much trouble, think of what freaking Malice and Fist is gonna be like. He! will destroy them. They would be dead within seconds. I'm not even fucking kidding. They're that... He, he's that old fucking pouch. I mean, I've really hyped him up and sometimes in the past I've hyped up a fight and it's turned out to be easier than I'd remembered, but not this one. Not this one. Malibu Fists is the most overpowered Digimon in the entire game. Like I said before, I had Digimon that were like, had 8,000 in their stats, and I still had to rely on recovery discs. That level of overpowers. My Digimon are not ready. Which pisses me off, because we're reaching a point in the game where this... I complained about this in a previous part. Or maybe it was in a different Let's Play. But I think part of the reason why my schedule has got all over the place 
is because this game and Rune Factory Oceans have a similar thing. In that, you know, there's shit to do off screen because I don't want to waste too much time when actually recording and not accomplishing anything. But that's basically the case here because I have to train my Digimon because time is tedious, boring, off screen shit. And I just can't be asked most of the time. So, I don't end up doing it, didn't, like in this case, for example. Didn't end up doing any training, so, you know. I need to train them a lot more if they're to stand a chance to get another like fist. Basically, the, the trouble comes down to I just can't be asked playing this in my own time. So, you know, when it comes around to our next chord session, I'm like, shit, I didn't do any level right. It's like leaving home up to the last second. Except for in that last second, instead of, you know, trying to do your homework as best you can, you just like, ah, fuck. Just like, get the tension or such. But, check out this one instead. My Digimon are, you know, got no HP, but let's have a little nose about the place. Ah, yeah. Let's lose him on this dimension. Now, can I remember the layout of this place? It's the question. Memory serves correctly. Left and right should have Digimon that are... Okay, maybe not. One of these locations will have Digimon hanging out that we can get some stuff with. Hopefully, get some good stuff. So we got the platinum shits. That just like, yeah. Uh, sounds like, you know, that's the type of shit you have when it's like, uh, I, d I don't even know what kind of shit that would be. Hmm. I don't want to face old Barbamon or whatever his name is just yet, you know. I want to see if I can find the other Digimon. now. I mean, if anything, I'm really just kind of stalling here because I don't really want to, uh, you know, fight with my Digimon's HP so low at the moment. I'm just kind of walking around so that they'll recover a bit first. Why the hell are these Digimon in this dimension? Listen, man, you, you have some strange friends. You'll come, child. You'll help me with my research, won't you? My research being kicking your ass. Ah. Okay, that didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. So, Abamon, you don't seem as tough as uh, some of the other dudes in that court. And he pulls off like some super old card cat. Hey, in this day, probably hit quite hard. And, well, no, even his own finisher was <laughs> the well. Although the damage is adding up a bit. Oh no, there. You know, of the seven deadly sin Digimon of Demon forever, that appear in the Dimension District of the Mid Boss, Leviamon definitely becomes. Everyone else seems to be a bit of a glass cap. Infinity Cannon! Infinity Cannon takes down the glass cap. Pandemonium, no! 
Right? Holy shit, that did more damage than you did last time. Let's see what the fuck happened. The power levels are inconsistent. Now he's suddenly becoming overpowered. It's like, why can't you throw it faster, damn it? Item has seemed slowly get out of his pocket. You know what? That's what that's something he has in common with a Dean. They're up really slow at freaking games. Dean takes forever to chug a recovery potion. It's in his teeth food. I mean, really, if you were in the middle of a fight and you just you know, you're like, okay, I'm gonna get out some milk pudding to heal myself, and you're just like, oh, nom 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 nom. That would be pretty stupid, wouldn't it? But still, what I'm saying is, this protagonist and Adin and Crackers, they both even suck when it comes to healing items. They're slow. In a game where being slow is basically a death sentence. Fuck you, give me stats. I need to get these stats something. Eight thousand at least, probably. Oh god, this <laughs> is not. Uh, I'm not looking forward to the off screen training. That's that's pretty much why, you know? This is why I just. Uh, it's gonna be even worse when we're done with this quest, because then we have to focus on the Coliseum and basically waste generations just to meet the requirements. It's gonna fucking suck. <laughs> Very well, this match of epical metamorphosis. What exceptional results! I get the fuck out of my way. Oh shit. Mm. Where the fuck are they? <laughs> Okay, here they are. Fucking assholes hiding out here. So we haven't talked to Samudramon in here before. I'm threading you so I can beat you next time. You'd better make yourself stronger. Take this. Tell me, experience increase by two thousands. I haven't trained enough to beat you yet, but I will beat you one day. You know, on top of giving the, uh... Because I, by the first time I think when I originally played the game that I met Pokemon in one of these, I think I'd already had my Tamer level maxed out. And basically, once your Tamer level is maxed out, instead of giving you uh, Tamer points, he will instead give you uh, battle points that you can use from your game. You boost life, right? Hmm, you have quite a bit of time remaining, maybe. In that case, how about this? These things last part of life's like rays. <laughs> You've got a good look in your eyes. As you let me help you out. Hmm, that was too helpful, you say. My bad. Hmm, better hurry up. Sometimes if you chase two bats, you can get a third. Which is good enough. Uh, I don't really want to talk to Axelmon, but I will anyway. I shall give you some try. However, you don't think that comes for free. Yep, you stole 10,000 bits. Ha <laughs> I told you it was for free. Yeah, he's an asshole. Leopardmon's much cooler. He actually gives us money. Let's just pace ourselves a bit. We've got time now, you know? Da 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 da. We're going to get absolutely wet. Absolutely crushed this pride. We're not gonna come out of this scene one piece. Guy HP back yet. Doobie doobie doo doobie doobie doo. Just pacing myself. How about this go for it? Yo, Ryuchi. <laughs> yep. You look at something like that, you don't think the first word to come out of his mouth is YO. 
wonder what I mean I wonder why he actually said in Japanese that he really was just like yo <laughs> I'm happy you came all this way now I'm going to kill you for oh, this is how we beat the world Magnus once again with the slowest pro in all of digital world. Absolute disgrace to all Digimon protagonists. Did that do a good amount of damage? I hope it did. Otherwise, it's gonna be a waste of items. Ali barely phased him. You're gonna get hit the second you get out. Okay, oh, yeah, 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 there we go. Ooh, boy. Now he's got a good finisher. Divine, you chose me! You wasted items, yes! Maybe I should do some calls in that one. Could help me stock up on, you know, these regen discs. Because you know you can buy those from the uh, arena battle points. Yeah, what I think is also the problem with my Digimon is they're really fucking slow. Speed is always the most neglected stat. Ow! I fell on my ass! Ow, jeez, that really hurts. E chaos. Man, hit him with a cannon. You must atone for not being strong enough to defeat me without title. Ooh, that hurt. Ow. I would not allow you to keep, you know, beating the shit out of machine gun. I assume that status that appeared above its head is probably slow or something. It's just like, thanks, make my vision slower than they already are. Yeah, we're not even halfway through, it's a big. He's got a defense boost there. Oh, oh shit. Sure could use that defense boost to magic, man. Thanks. If I ask him that, which I was... Yes. Is my Digimon actually doing some damage? I'm still going to hide at a slow pace, but I'm yeah. oh. What am I Digimon? Probably going to get one. Yep. I Jesus Christ, she got back up and immediately fell back down. 
Damage that attack did basically. Oh, the jumpy items there. Now, if I hadn't talked to Exumon, I would have easily run out of time in this fight. Holy shit, check out Machine Drum on here. Each hatch is finishing move. He got almost completely obliterated, sure. The fact that he's still alive, rather than being knocked out. That's, that's some tough shit right there. I mean, it is machine gun, on, you know. Is that one of the toughest armors in the whole game? In the lore. Because this is basic. None of that is relevant whatsoever. To the gameplay. Team Magma! Energy cannon! Oh shit. Well, let's see who he knocks out first. Holy shit, he tanked it again! What a badass. Come on, come on. Finish it. Since Mastermon is the one that uses up the most MP. Chaos was not enough, really? Uh oh. Oh shit. That's not gonna do it. That's it. That money ought to pay for uh, maybe all or at least some of the recovery this wasted on that fight. This space is really strange. In this form, my power is unlimited. If that's so, then why the freaking hell don't you go to the pink house and sort out? Well, I think it's kind of probably because only my Digimon will be immune. To his bullshit. He'd probably just take over any other Digimon. Don't suppose that was enough, uh. wherever the hell you like from that place. Ah, yes, it is. Money! I got, got the same amount of money that I lost to Exum. Examon got stuck behind me. Examon, you know, it just sounds like. Is that a Digimon that was like uh, based on Exmon? <laughs> it's just like, oh yeah, it's got a real bad skin condition. Yeah, what sucks? Dry skin. Dry skin sucks. Not good enough, Kamari. You know, I feel like no matter how much time passes, I will always think of that line from Final Fantasy X. That's just ingrained into my memory now. Where you're fighting, uh, what was the name, Yankee, uh, Liron, or whatever the hell it was, Kamari's rivals. Like, each time you do damage, you'll be like, Not good enough, Kamari. Hmm. 
Uh, maybe the next generation I'll go for Metal Animal because one of the Colosseum challenges needs a uh, filth type Digimon. So you got all these items, but I wouldn't use them to Digimon because that's a bit cheap. You gotta go through all the training to meet the requirements. Uh, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. Oh, the challenges again? Yeah. That one I'd need a filter type. That one I'd need to have. Well, either one would require my next generation of Digimon. Maybe I'll have to aim for Lucimon for both my Digimon to be able to clear this. Even though, like I said before, I cleared this challenge with a Lucimon and a Snow Goku. I don't know, maybe Snow Goblimon just had some really good moves, but if I recall correctly, it wasn't, you know, intentional to get Snow Goblimon. It was just the other Digimon that I was raising. It wasn't like the factored in. I was like, my Digimon can handle it. Lucidmon's going to be the main hitter. And I was able to get through it. But my Digimon have not reached that level of overpowers. And the cat went out of the room. And you know what? I will conclude this part here, actually. You know, that, this is where the trouble comes in with these record sessions for this Let's Play now. Because I don't know how much time I'm going to spend training my Digimon. Because, you know, they really need to get stronger. Much stronger. So I want to, you know, take on the Malevolent Fist. But my Digimon just aren't ready for that. And I don't know if I'll get them up to, you know, uh, the right level for taking on my level of fists. I'm gonna do some off screen level grinding. I might record the next part today as well. It's the 13th of January. Or I might not. Depends. But I will train my Digimon and hopefully. Get them strong enough to at least get to the Malabarin Fist, if not hopefully defeat him, but I doubt it. I want to at least be able to get up to the house, you know, in the next part, at the very least. So, that's the goal for now. So, I shall see you next time, viewers. See you next time.